Hi everyone, welcome back. So, in this video, we'll be learning about a very common numbers that we come across day to day, that is rational numbers. I'll be telling you what rational numbers are, how they came into existence, and various things about rational numbers. So, before coming to what rational numbers are actually, we know that, let us recall what are the different types of numbers that we have studied till now. We started with natural numbers, right? Then we studied whole numbers. Then we came to integers. And sometimes we studied decimals. And these are the numbers that we have studied till now. One more type of number that we come across is... Uh, let us take a situation first. Say I have a piece of cake. Okay. Say I have one cake. And I need to divide it among three brothers so if i'll ask you how much portion of the cake will one brother get how much portion of the cake will one brother get you can say that he will get one by third of the portion of cake right one by third of the whole cake one brother will get and similarly if i'll ask you what is the sum of the portions that two brothers get all together like if i'll ask you now since one brother is getting one by three what is the sum of the portions that two brothers are getting so this you can say that since one brother is getting one by three another brother will also get one by three hence the total portion of two brothers is nothing but two by third of the cake okay so this is one of the cases of a fraction let us take another situation say a very simple situation in which say i need to pay you I need to pay you a sum of say rupees 75,000. Say I took a loan from you and I need to pay you 75,000 rupees. And considering that my salary is say 30,000 rupees. Right. So I can say that in terms of my salary, in terms of my salary, I need to pay you what? 5 by 2 two of my salary will this will be equivalent to my loan why i am telling this such examples because i want to show you different types of fractions here you can see proper fractions in which the numerator is lesser than the denominator and here you can see a fraction in which the numerator is greater than the denominator so now i have a question for you can i express any number in terms of fractions or basically, if I'll speak precisely, can I express any number as a ratio of two numbers? Let us take an example. See, let us start with natural numbers, say a natural number 2. 2 can be written as 2 by 1. That is, if I divide 2 in one part, right? If I divide 2 in one part, I get 2 itself. So, 2 can be expressed as 2 by 1, ratio of 2 is to 1. Similarly, if let us take a whole number, say 0. 0 can be written as 0 divided into 1 part because 0 is itself nothing. So, 0 by 1 is again a valid fraction or a valid ratio. Say, take an integer, minus 8. Minus 8 can be written as minus 8 divided by 1. That is, minus 8 divided into 1 part give you minus 8. Concluding everything that I have told you till now, I wanted to say that any number that you have studied can be expressed as a ratio of two numbers. Hence, such numbers are termed as rational numbers. Now, you can see itself in the term itself, there is a term ratio. So, any number which can be expressed as a valid ratio will be termed as rational numbers. If I want to define it, Mathematically, rational numbers are defined as any number in the form of P by Q, where P and Q are integers. And second thing, Q is not equal to zero, right? A rational, number said, a rational number is defined as any number in the form of P by Q, where P and Q are integers and Q is not equal to zero. Such numbers will be known as rational numbers 
why q should not be equal to 0 because any number divided by 0 is not defined that i'll tell you later why but as of now mathematically whenever denominator in denominator we have zero such numbers will never ever be defined so we eliminated such cases and apart from that everything that can be expressed as this will come under the category of rational numbers let us take few examples say i have 1 by 3 as we studied earlier 6 by 11 5 by 2 minus 8 by 13 minus 4 by minus 6 0 by minus 2 minus 1 by minus 6 all such numbers say 2 minus 3 minus 5 everything like this come under the category of rational numbers why 2 because 2 is nothing but 2 by 1 why minus 3 because minus 3 is nothing but minus 3 by 1 all these numbers satisfies both these conditions say tell us take say 6 by 11 6 and 11 both are integers and 11 being the denominator is not equal to 0 hence this is a rational number so this is how we define the rational numbers now you may be thinking that what about decimals say for example if i have 2.5 how can i express this in terms of rational numbers what is 2.5 basically? Can I write 2.5 as 2 plus 0.5? Right, this is 2 complete plus 0.5. 2 whole because 2 is nothing but 2 by 1. And what is 0.5 basically? 0.5 is half of something that is 5 by 10. This point represents can be represented like this. So this becomes 2 plus 1 by 2 which is nothing but 5 by 2 again a rational number we'll be studying this very clearly in the next set of videos where i'll be showing you the decimal representation of rational numbers which type of decimals are rational numbers or which type of decimals are not rational numbers but here i just wanted to tell you that even decimals can be represented as rational numbers so now i hope that the idea of rational numbers are pretty clear what rational numbers are how their existence is and a lot of different things that's all in this video thank you for watching bye